Okay, day 23, Gevura Shebenetzach. Return my thoughts again and again to trust in Hashem. Give no energy to doubts, worries, guilt, and anxiety. They are distractions conjured by the Yetzer Hara to keep God out of the day-to-dayness of my life. This is time for spiritual warfare. This is time for Gavura like never before. Kind of like you need to get into the martial arts of military warfare, literally. Not give in and really strengthen yourself to have this victory. Gavura is strength. Netzach is victory. It's a battlefield out there. And if we don't upgrade this energy within us, we can so easily succumb to all these negative emotions. Remember, thoughts create emotions. So you need to really have these guards like right at your heart standing clear, ready to like tackle any energy coming your way that's trying to distract you from fulfilling your godly purpose that day. Let alone really catch the moment when these negative emotions will just continue to gush and gush and like take over. With these guards of Gvura and Netzach right there, to help you keep strong, you will have a victory because this is the only way we need to like fight fire with fire. You need to get on that like a very uh, exquisite shape of your mind to be able to not let any hoodlum thoughts enter and at all costs if it happens to enter nip it in the bud and say delete and make it obsolete ready to fight in a holy way now take a moment see yourself in a situation maybe where you're a little wimpy and a little, you know, flabby of the mind. Where you've had the opportunity to banish that thought and you didn't. And you obsessed over it and you all day thought about it and it really ruined your day and then it spilled over to your loved ones and then it spilled over maybe to the next day, God forbid. Where can you stand strong right now and not let that happen so easily again. Where can you stop yourself and not give into it? And see now in a vision, you're so fortified, you're so strong, and you are barding those doors. Yeah, with bolts and double locks and saying they're not coming in anymore. That's it, Dainu. Ready to be strong for victory? The sphere of the day is what within me resists, denies, diminishes, or deludes me regarding Hashem's constant, infinite love that fills the world. There is only the infinite light of Hashem. The resistance I feel is because of attachment to the world of illusion without the balance of knowing deeply that all there is in the world is Hashem. What is coming up that resists this. It feels powerful, fiery, movement full of force and pain, of heaviness and darkness. It is Kedusha given to the illusion in order that I have the opportunity to recognize my Creator, the only power. I love Hashem. 
I empty all my thoughts, feelings, urges, impulses, emotions, and beliefs into the infinite light and submit my heart and mind to Hashem's perspective that I am bitter in His light so that Hashem may utilize my mind and heart as a channel through which the Kedusha from the world of illusion may return to the infinite light and be revealed in the world. I want my heart and mind to be a channel to reveal you, Hashem. Please accept my tshuva for attaching to the illusion and please instead strengthen me in attachment only to you, Hashem Echad. Please help me be a strong vessel of Amuna and a channel for your love and mercy to come into this world.